Hello friends, this is Sanjay. Today I am going to spend some time on SAP REFX related some additional scenarios. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, at the pointer. So uh, when I published my uh, video on uh, SAP REFX, uh, so many people told me that you know, they have got a lease uh, in a different currency uh, compared to what uh, their company code currency. So in this video, I'll uh, run through one example where my company code currency is say INR and I'm having a lease con uh, contract in uh, US dollar. So uh, how SAP helps me to meet this requirement? Let's see. So uh, most important part uh, before we uh, start the transaction, uh, there is one business function we need to activate. So uh, this one, RE general CI underscore one. So apart from this activation, there are additional configuration also you need to do. So uh, I'll not get into the config part. Uh, I'll just run through uh, the scenarios and if you need any help on that then please connect with me i have given my email id and contact number uh, as you can see there are uh, additional functions need to be activate uh, worked upon conditions in foreign currency when you activate this uh, business function it gives you all the other information so let's start so uh, as you know uh, to create a lease contract we have to use recn so I'll enter the relevant information in the RECN transaction. So company code, you select the date, profit center and all those things. Now the important field to see here is the contract currency. By default, it will take show you your company code currency. And since I have activated that business function, so company code currency field, you can see here it's become it becomes available for modification. If you don't have that business function activation, then this field will not uh, be open. It will be grayed out. So you change INR to US dollar and then we make a finance lease relevant selection. After that, uh, I'll be create uh, assigning, uh, you know, object J4 here uh, and then cost center related to my company code. Then I'll give a detailed information related to monthly contract price, lease price, right? So in this case, $5,000 is my lease price. And the period is from 1st June 2022 to 31st May 2027. So, uh, you know, this is uh, all these details. I'll also run through in SAP to give you a better understanding. So after that, I'll go to valuation parameter and I'll add uh, my IFRS related uh, valuation detail. And also I'll add, uh, update my interest rate, inherent interest rate in the lease. And then once I will save, then asset will be created. After that, I'll do the valuation run. So when I do the valuation here, so you can see the difference. I am getting INR as well as US dollar amount here. So uh, based on this is the net present value of total US dollar contract value. So $300,000 is my contract value and this is my present value $265,000. And uh, so uh, you know uh, after that I'll do the valuation posting. So accounting document will be generated. So as you can see, uh, this is the three end, uh, lines I have got in when I did the valuation posting and these are the different accounting document got generated. So I have this ROU asset clearing account debit for lease liability uh, posting. So lease liability got posted uh, and against that I have got ROU asset getting posted. So my asset got uh, debited with the same amount and uh, lease liability got credited. Then I'll be having this lease installment. So lease liability will be debited and my lease clearing account will get credited. And finally, 
I'll po uh, also have the other account related to lease interest. So lease interest will be debited and which will and it will give credit to lease liability account. After this uh, uh, valuation posting, I'll also have to post the monthly uh, periodic posting for the contract, which will generate a vendor line item. So I'll input the details of the contract with all the information when the posting date uh, should happen and all. And once I execute this uh, transaction, I'll get this type of entry. So lease clearing account for $5,000 uh, my installment money and vendor account will be created, credited. And then I'll be able to then make the payment to the vendor. So this is how uh, you will be able to handle uh, your lease contract in any other currency uh, apart from your company code currency. So uh, let me just also give you a demo in uh, SAP. So it becomes much better for you uh, understanding. So I go to RECI. Selecting lease in lease accounting. I'll enter my vendor number. Then contract is started. I'll keep the same started what I showed you. center I have a business area also here and give the name say lease contract in US dollar currency so this is the field I was showing you earlier contract currency so here by default it will give me company code currency so I can change it to US dollar and select the valuation relevance. Now I go to objects and add my object to J4. Again, I can give the same name as a contract object, lease contract in US dollar currency, and select the object type J4. and account assignment which is my cost center with the company code now i go to conditions so here i will assign con uh, conditions so i'll use $5000 monthly uh, lease amount and then I go to my valuation para parameters. So here I'll assign my IFRS 16 J4 contract and we'll give the interest rate. So say 6% is my interest rate. Now I'll also need to input, uh, as you see, asset is obligatory. So uh, already I have the asset accounting configured here. So I can just update the asset by clicking this button create asset so asset number will be created see asset number internal number will be created I need to mark the <coughs> you can see here uh, rule is incomplete so <coughs> excuse me uh, let me mark this rule complete so valuation is pending <coughs> so i need to first save it and then i'll do the valuation let's execute the valuation so uh, i have got this 164 Okay, $180,000 is my, uh, you know, uh, contract value and $164,000 is my present value. So, I have got only up to 2025. So, only for three years I have created, not five years like I was showing you in earlier uh, my training slide. So, that's why you have a different amount here. So, now save it. So valuation gets saved. 
and I need to activate the contract. So contract is activated. You see here system status is now activate and it's released. So now I'll do the post the valuation. So let me and valuation I'll use June twenty two. Posting date also first June twenty two. So I'm doing in simulation mode. Okay, so all green. So I can now go back and execute it in update mode. So uh, we can see it's updated now. Let's see the documents. Okay, I got these different documents created. So I have got ROU asset clearing is liability. Lease liability, lease clearing. So installment amount paid. And finally, asset posting. So asset also got posted with the in INR. Now I'll go and do the uh, periodic well, uh, posting. So uh, again, uh, it's green. So I can go back and remove the simulation and execute in update run. So let's see the document. So my lease clearing account has been debited and my vendor account has been credited. So uh, that's it, my friend. So uh, this is how you know uh, you can uh, process your lease contract using any currency other than your company code currency. Uh, in next tutorial, I will also talk about uh, some other scenarios like uh, lease contract uh, having a different uh, you know uh, lease pay uh, installment payment. Uh, in, uh, uh, so there is some increase, say five percent increase, or some different amount. Uh, after a year or after two years. So uh, that scenario I'll be talking about in my next video. Uh, if you like, uh, please, uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.